Good evening. So tonight my wife and I, we were watching Cold Case, which is a criminal show that was around 2002 or such. And we watched one episode where these boys that are in the military were more or less molested, raped by this, I guess, you know, their commanding officer. And so, you know, just the what this abuser did with these kids, it really brought back what happened with me in my abuser. I mean, I was five years old, but I remember some things. You know, I remember just this, some of the stuff that this abuser would say to me. And the show really brought back, you know, the, the stuff that was done. I mean, this my abuser more or less showed me pornographic images and from there we he would drive to this secluded spot in the woods and he would show me these images and then you know he would abuse me there and so it was i didn't understand it as a kid I was confused. I wasn't sure if this was normal, that this happened to everybody. And so, you know, he would abuse me and I, I just felt weird. And, you know, like I said, I, I didn't know if the, this was a normal thing that went on. But, you know, looking back on it now, I just, from watching that show, that's some of the stuff that he used to do. I mean... He used to take me out to, you know, fun places like carnivals and out to eat, you know, and I believe that was to get our trust and so that we would not tell on him. And he used to tell us that you can't, you can't tell your parents because if you do, then I can't take you to these places anymore. And so what he said got us to feel bad for him. I don't, I know for me personally, you know, as a five-year-old, you know, that's what it felt. I mean, like you're going to manipulate a child like that. And so just the stuff that he did, I mean, I don't know how long this went on, but I recall, you know, that he was abusing me when my parents weren't home. And my mother walked in and saw him doing that. And she told him to get out. And I guess charges weren't pressed for it. Hold on, let me turn the light on. But, you know, of course my mom said that she didn't, you know, this was a new thing for her. She didn't know what to do at the time. And, you know, I, I trust that fact. I mean, she was angry about it. She was grieved. But, you know, we're in an information age now to where, you know, stuff like that happens, people are going to press charges. So, really, the point of this video, you know, just seeing that cold case episode, uh, you know, a lot of parents, you know, don't know what's going on. I mean, if you are parents and you're watching this video, you happen to come by it, I would say that you need to watch out who you have watching your kids. They got to be people that you trust explicitly. That they there's no issues of, you know, stuff in their past, no sexual issues or whatever. Because you don't know what can happen. You don't know if you just met somebody, of course you're going to be Larry. But I mean, this my abuser worked with my mother, and he was considered a friend of the family. And so, he, I guess he gained trust, and then from there, that's what he did. So, it could be somebody that you trust, but you got to watch out. you got to take those extra precautions, because you don't want your child being hurt in that way. You know, one of the things that is really hard for a child is telling their parents 
you know, that somebody that they trust has done that to them. And a child that has been abused will be afraid to come out and say what's going on. Because the thing that will hurt them the most is telling them that you don't believe them. So, just make sure that, you know, if you have somebody that you somewhat know, you know, you really, you have to trust them explicitly. Because you don't know, you know, about their past or whatever. you got to make sure that you know this person, you know, because these are your kids. And you don't want your child having to go through what I went through. I mean, I wouldn't say it was horrible. I mean, I, I have always been an open person. I've always been able to talk about that. And when I went into counseling after the abuse issue, that's what the counselor was trying to tell me, was that, you know, it's good that you're opening up talking about this. You know, a lot of people won't. A lot of people are angry. And so, you know, I, I look on from a spiritual perspective, I look back on my abuser and... I really hope that he got in trouble for it, not for the purpose that I'm bitter or anything, but because, you know, I want, I want that person to come to Christ so that they can see the wrong that they have done and to work on their issues. Because, you know, you abuse a child, you're bringing such darkness in their life. And I know for sure that when he showed me that first pornographic image that it had opened a gate in my own life for the generational issues to come through. You know, maybe my, my uncles and my father in the past dealt with pornography and, you know, a sexual addiction or whatever it was. So, the moment this abuser showed those pornographic images, you know, it opened, you know, the, the, the gate in my own life for me to deal with that issue. And so, really... You have children and you have people babysitting them. Make sure that you know your babysitters explicitly. That you know everything about them. Because you don't want your children to go through such garbage. You know, you don't want them to deal with this. You know, and so, you know, just watch them. You know, watch who you have with them. Because... The hardest thing you can ever do in this world is try to protect your kid from any kind of evil. So, you know, I really just want to put this video forward for anybody, you know, and just to bring some extra precaution in your life, you know, to just watch who you are having at your house and who you have may have alone with your kids, you know. So, you, you know, you just want to, you know, take extra precautions. So, thank you for taking the time to watch. God bless you.